What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be going over what I got in the mail. So this is going to be a mixed video. I'm going to be going over what I got for kayak accessories since I just bought a kayak. And then also going to be going over how I organize my tackle. First off we're going to start off with how I organize my tackle. Well, what did I get? Center baits. Plastics. More thinner baits. Jigs. And crank baits. Those are the main things I've gotten in this box, as you can see. All. Oh, they're stuck. That's kind of cool. All Strike Kings. Ooh, they're stuck in there. They didn't mess around. I've always wanted to do this, so I'm gonna do it on camera. Make it ready! <laughs> First off, we'll start off with the crankbaits. So I have some crankbait boxes. So this is my deep divers. And then these are my shallow divers. So I have two boxes. And I'll show you how I organize them. First off, you take them out of the package. This is a deep diver, so I'm going to be in the deep diver box. Then I don't just put them in there. I come over to my other little box right here. I grab these twisty ties. So these twisty ties come in really handy. So what I do is you grab this. So you're going to grab this. Put it, let's see if I can get this, put it around. I'll do it for you guys without poking myself. So go around it, bring the other hook back, and then pull it around once, seal it up. So it's going to look like that. And then you're going to cut off the tag and keep what you have, and then put it in your box so they don't tangle. And when you go to take it off, Look how easy it is. So there'll be a little tag. Bam, throw it on your line. Good to go. So I'm going to organize all the deep and shallow divers and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, I got the box all ready to go for you guys. So let's try to do this without spilling it everywhere. So that's how I have my boxes organized. So I'm going to give you a quick tip because I used to not be able to tell my 5XDs from my 8XDs from my 10 for my 10XDs is the little tags that come on here right here are a sticker I take them off and I put them on there so I can tell the difference and they also tell the depth so if you're looking at your fish finder and it says 24 foot bam grab a 10XD so that's how I organize it and then it's really easy with them twisty ties, so I got the twist tie. Say I want something really deep. Okay, I want this one. Instead of getting a huge mess, you got just like a few, so there you go. And that's how I organize my crankbaits. Same with the shallow, so I'm not gonna show you the shallow box, because it's the same way. Now, moving on two spinner baits and how I organize them. Now these are easy. The simple in a bag trick. Open the bag up. I got black and blue, red and black, chartreuse blades with a brighter color, and then whites with silver blades, whites with white blades, and so on and then I got trailers so if you can't see trailers so I'll show you so I'll just take this one for instance the Strike King chartreuse with chartreuse blade take this one out so I don't just put them in the bag I take these hook protectors that I bought from Amazon 50 pack for like 
two bucks. Slide it over. Just barely. That way it's easy to take off. And then take my bag. If I can get the bag open. Slide it in. Seal it up. Maybe. Okay. And voila. There she is inside the bag. So that's it for spinnerbait. Now for my swim jigs and all that fun jazz. So swim jigs, football jigs, which I think I got some in there. I got swim, football, yep. So I got, I'm not gonna, sh I might be able to show you. We'll just tilt this down. So there she is, trailers. And then one ounce, three quarter ounce, so on. And how I tell is the little tags. So I'll just I'll do, do I'll just do my tungsten weight because I have tungsten weights right here. So I just write on there one ounce tungsten weight. And it makes it easy for when I have to go order again what I want. Not want what I need. Ha. So just take my blue and black swim jig. Easy as that. Not gonna go really in specific, so I just throw it in with the blue and black. And then I look at my thing. Three eight ounce. So I put it in with the three eight ounce. And I have it all organized. So just showing you guys. Now I'm gonna move on to the next thing. The next thing I'm gonna go over is hooks. I don't know why that couldn't come out, but I'm going over hooks and sinkers in miscellaneous. So here's how I have mine set up. Just all my hooks in one thing. So I got some weights and all the fun stuff. So what I bought it was what I bought it. What I bought was some jointed structure heads. And just gonna be easy. Easy as this. Just take it, put it in. <laughs> so my hook box is easy. And that's it for that. Now for the fun part, let's open up my box I got. Oh wait, I got one more thing. My worms. So, usually I put my worms into bags. Just bags. Bags on bags. Tube jigs. But, this is restock. So, I put everything into Tupperware. Whatever this is plastic wear. So I got just a line and then worms and twisters, crawls and creature baits, which this would be classified as a worm. So throw it in with the worms and they fit perfect. That's how you do that. Now what I was saying, let's see what I got for the kayak. So here she is. Yes, it is open, so it's not technically an unboxing, but it is for you guys. So we'll save that part for later. You guys can't see that later. I got gloves. I know, little wussy hands, but my hands were hurting when I was kayaking. This could help. And then, I haven't opened this, but I, I know what it is. <sighs> Leashes for everything. That 
can have a leash because I lost my net quite a bit in my paddle. Which, speaking of the paddle, I got paddle holders. Why? Because when I'm fishing and I'm going hardcore, my paddle tends to go. And I mean go, where I have to hopefully have someone with me to grab it for me. So I got two of them. That way I can pop them into place and they can be straight. And then how I'm going to be setting up my GoPro is on ram mounts. So I'm going to hook this to wherever she is. This. Oh, and I did this too on for it. Charge my GoPro on my phone. So I'm going to hook this ball to, to it. And then the extension, extension, and then the ball for the GoPro or my camera, whatever. And then I got pliers that already came with uh, retractable, so piss, uh, piss fun, piss fun, whatever it is, one year warranty. We'll see how they work. And then rod, they wrap around your rods and you click your rod leash to it so it holds it in place so if they would fall out bloop, they go but not because I got them on here and because we do some night fishing I got some lights and then we're gonna open up this first that way we can just do it all together and you know what I'm talking about so this is what I'm excited about right here I got this on eBay for cheap. Seven inch fish finder for the old yak. And I'm gonna be using it for ice fishing too. So it's a multi-use thing. So with that being, I bought ram mount. Also gonna be putting that to this. And then I bought a transducer for it because it didn't come with one. And I knew that when I was buying it, but I got it for so cheap that I looked up the transducers and I still was getting it really cheap. So that's why I did that. And then my favorite part, I don't know if you guys can see it right here. Yes, I did buy the black pack. And I already got some logos on there. I'm gonna get my logo, my logo put on there. So, let's go over it. So, here she is. I got her all opened up. You know, stickering it up. Got it all in this. So, tube jigs, got them all. Stick baits, Senkos, whatever you guys call them. Preacher Cross, Snow jigs, Football jigs, Hooks, and tools. I need a, need a lot more of that. And then, jigs. Get some more for that too. I just, whatever I didn't like in my other box, I just. Walmart dollar spin baits. I would like to all get them all the newer style so it looks good. I mean, it, it, it works for right now. And I just got some plastic, plastics hanging up here. And then some more plastics that I can put in one of the bags. That is it. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, because we got more coming for sure, for sure. Especially since you guys are seeing all this stuff. That means I'm going to be fishing, not collecting. So thank you guys. See you next time.